The Stability MX Vertebral Augmentation System with the Power Curve Navigating Osteotome is one of the latest advancements in the treatment of vertebral body fractures. Stability MX features high viscosity cement with 35 minutes of working time in a simple and precise delivery system. The power curve is specifically designed to create preferential cavities prior to cement delivery in the treatment of vertebral compression fractures. The power curve is the latest innovation in targeted cavity creation for treatment of vertebral body fractures and is engineered to optimize bone sparing cavity creation with improved durability, strength, and ease of use. Power Curve offers a true unipedicular approach in vertebral augmentation procedures, which reaches to the contralateral side. Vertebral augmentation with Stability MX begins with placement of the stability introducer into the posterior one-third of the vertebral body. The straight line osteotome is then inserted through the introducer into the anterior one-third of the vertebral body to create an initial cavity. The power curve is then used to create a preferential pathway for the high viscosity stability bone cement to flow within the vertebral body. Here, the physician creates a channel across the midline of the vertebral body. The physician may also create pathways directed inferiorly and superiorly, permitting access to other areas of the vertebral body through a unipedicular approach as the fracture morphology or initial introducer placement dictate. Power curve is removed. A cement delivery cannula is then introduced into the vertebra and locked into the working cannula in order to deliver the high viscosity cement to the fracture. Cement is delivered into the vertebral body by rotating the handle of the delivery syringe. The cement delivery syringe allows for cement delivery from up to two feet away. The delivery of cement can be stopped instantly by pressing the clutch handle of the delivery syringe. High viscosity cement preferentially fills the pathways created by the power curve, then interdigitates into the adjacent intact cancellus bone. This targeted cement delivery helps provide fracture stability. Once cement delivery is complete, the delivery cannula is removed and a stylet is reinserted prior to instrument removal and followed by wound closure with a small bandage.